How long ago was it when some friends of ours at the music company brought Ed Sheeran into us? We never heard of him before. He was brand new to the scene. We shook his hand. Yeah. He performed for us and won us over. That's it. Now Ed is doing that with someone else, Jamie Lawson. It's working as well. He's working. Yeah, he's already he's, he's doing well on the charts already. Yeah, he's doing his thing. He's well, performing no, for but it. I mean everywhere, everywhere. We went we went double platinum in um, Australia and New Zealand, and it's just it's blowing up. He's on tour with One Direction in, in in England as well, which is kind of like a weird. It's a weird demographic change because uh, Jamie's like. We've been playing pub, pubs for years, and now suddenly he's opened up stadiums for One Direction. That's crazy. Isn't cool. that how you found him? Like you saw his like poster in a pub or something, right? Well, no, no. I mean, we've we've played together nu numerous times, right. so we've been we shared the same bill. And every time I played with him at a gig, I was like, "Well, he's going to get signed soon. He's going to blow up." And then like, it, no, no one did it. I was just kind of looking at it, being like, "Everyone's an so you idiot." You did it yourself. Man. You yeah. signed him. That's well, yeah. Cool. I, I, I was I, I, in my head. I was like, I, I always know that's the that's the first guy that I want to put out as soon as I get a label and as soon as I got one I got one and I have proven my point I'm like I was right and you lot are idiots like, <laughs> he, he like labels could have signed him five years ago and they didn't do it no but now you're the boss now you have your own label wow yeah they, someone gave you the keys to the car <laughs> it's good it's good well I mean like you know you know you know what it's like you have a playlist given to you that is full of music that it's good in its own right, but you're not necessarily a fan of. Uh, right. But if someone said to you, "You can choose the people that are on radio," it's you, it's 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 quite a cool thing. So for me to be able to take an act that I love, take it in here, and then you play it, and I hear it on radio, that's that's awesome for me because I'm hearing stuff that I'm a fan of on the radio. Jamie, uh, <laughs> he, Ed was telling us how you know you guys used to play gigs together in, mm -hmm. in pubs, this and that, and now. You were talking about stadiums and things like yeah. that. Yeah, I've, I've, I've literally just come from doing the O2 in London for three nights with One Direction, which is quite surreal. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's pretty crazy. What's most crazy about that is it didn't come through me. Like, I, like everyone's like, oh, you got Jamie the One Direction support. And I was like, I have no idea how, how that happened. Yeah. They, they just they got in touch with them. And, and, but and it often. did. And this yeah, all yeah, it's, it's, so cool. it's happening, yeah. Well, so you're starting to feel this simmer going on. The same thing Ed felt several years ago when he came onto the scene. Well, I, th I think it might be slightly different in the fact that because someone of Ed's stature is introducing me to the world, I'm getting a lot of attention very quickly, whether people have heard it or not. But then people are hearing it and kind of going, oh, I get it. There's, there are performers out there going, crap, <laughs> how come Ed Sheeran can't introduce me to the world? What does Jamie? I, well, I, Jamie gets everything. I don't think. I don't think I'm going to do this again. I think. I think. I think I'm going to like introduce Jamie, and then for all all of the next acts, like off the back of Jamie's success, they'll be like, "Oh, Ed was right last time. Yeah, we'll give this one because <laughs> like it's early in it." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ed, by the way, it has the worst breath, but for good reason. <laughs> Mate, I, this is the best breath at the moment because it's like Italian breath. It's like, mm, yeah. You smell yeah. like a, yeah. an Italian I grandma. Smell like a subway. You know when they pump the meatball smell out of a subway? Mm -hmm. Yes. Like, I, oh, I yeah. really want that in my house. Well, please. <laughs> I don't want that pump in my house. So, Ed Sheeran just ate meatballs. Please don't pump that Ed, that meatball scent into our roof. <laughs> oh. No way. I, I don't even have a good comeback. I just, you don't need, need one. So, you know, Andrew's, Andrew's mother made her Sunday sauce yesterday with the mm. meatballs and the sausage. Mm. Ed just ate it and he, his eyes were rolling back in his head. It was good. good oh, stuff. man, it was so good. So good. To, to all the Italians out there listening, I, I love you. Ryan Seacrest was here a second ago. Why didn't he come in and say hi? Well, he wants Jamie for his own show. Yeah, he, t he actually told me he, he doesn't, doesn't want like Ed. He, he, he doesn't, doesn't, he doesn't <laughs> no, he like doesn't. you anymore. He preferred you when you were cuddly. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> well, look, I... <laughs> Thank you guys for thank you very much for coming. I I, I think I'm still cuddly. I know you are. You just I don't, have an ass, I don't have an ass anymore. You had an ass last time I came. <laughs> I did. What, what, what did you do? I, I lost 110 pounds. Yeah, mate. Wow. That's and you know what? You know what my that's, number. That's my, insane. My number that one asset. Amazing. You know. Well tell them what my number one asset is now. His penis. It's bigger than ever. No, yeah, you told <laughs> it's me. It's gotten much larger. Yeah. It's epic of epic you proportions. Do you ever just everybody. whip it out on the table halfway through and oh. just go, look at it, just look at it? It's crazy. During the show, it's very distracting. You know that sausage you ate? <laughs> Pales in comparison. <laughs> well, the sausage I ate was three inches, so I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> He's so proud. No, but no, but no, but the sausage I ate had girth though. Sometimes girth is all you need. 
That's what sometimes, sometimes all a woman needs no, is girth. No, see, I think guys with small ones say what I lack in length, I make up in girth. That's what I think. Yeah, you don't want it looking like a Pepsi can, though, do you? <laughs> no. no. But like Greg oh T, I got Greg T, he's hung like a pancake. Yeah. How's, how's it's like that long, but that wide. Like, it's so weird looking. <laughs> that is quite strange. How did we get on this topic? You. I'm sorry. You I'm sorry. brought it up. You so. said my penis is really big now, and now we're talking about <laughs> penises. <laughs> <now. laughs> we were talking about, you know. You did say that. One of the bright spots of losing the weight. But enough about me. Back to you. It's just, this is about you. <laughs> Uh, we got to play the single. Before we do that, though, I want to say thank you. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you so much for sharing your song with us today. Pleasure. Th thank you for having me. Wasn't expecting that. Available now. Yes. Do a search. Wasn't expecting that. And buy it. Buy three or four copies. Also, next time he comes in, like every single radio station, they have him in once and they're very friendly and they're like, yeah, yeah. And the next time they come in, it's nothing but wasn't expecting that joke. So next time you come in, just, just getting <laughs> like, ooh. Song was a hit. Bet you weren't expecting that. <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting that. Everywhere I go. Everywhere. That's so good. just make, make, make sure you think of some good ones. Yeah. That's the A material. <laughs> thanks. And Ed, Ed, we always love seeing you, Ed. And, Thank you know, you. Thanks, and thanks for being, you know, I consider you a New Yorker now, in a way, because every time you're here, you have fun. Well, I went to my first Mets game. Look, yeah. how, yeah. look how well they're doing. Jeez. They, I, I'm a glory hunter. I'm, I'm just following it. As soon as they start losing, I'll go up to the Yankees, Yankees again. The yeah. Yankees time again. <laughs> Ed Sheeran, Jamie Lawson, thank you so much for coming in. Again, the debut single, Wasn't Expecting That, is totally available now. And, of course, we just spend, uh, did a spin with Late All On Me, Rudimental. And we'll Ed see Sheeran. everyone Webster Hall Tuesday night. Excellent. Thank you, guys. <laughs>